Are we happy with where these points are? Now, most of you are doing rays because you are um, and might know, but we haven't really talked about vectors at all. And what you're doing is a position vector. And a position yep. vector is when we relate the position to our origin. There are different types of vectors, and we will be talking a lot about those. But if you have rays drawing them, that's OK. But we weren't going into vectors at this point. You were just asked to plot points. Are we happy with one? Did we get to two and go, oh, thank God, although Susie has exceeded everybody else, I think, in drawing a diagram. Who else drew a diagram? I think I only saw one. Oh, yeah. I picked my person deliberately. Everyone else happy with circle center two, three, and a radius of five? Two minus three. Two minus three? Yeah. Yeah? Have we got two minus three? That's okay. Transcription errors. I think this might be an attempt at a minus. Or maybe not. Maybe not because our drawing's there. Anyway, two minus three, is that better? Yep. Last one. A, B is three root five. A, C root two. Angle B, A, C, 100 degrees, 108 degrees. Oh, that's an or. Yeah. Or. Thank I was trying to work out what that was, sorry. Or three fifths pi. And that gave us an area of four over 4.5. Sorry. Uh, listen, I was told to use a fancy S for area to distinguish between point A and area. Okay. Let's just go area. <laughs> right. Um, how are we with this? Did anyone have any like solutions that match? And you were all like, yes. I know. I saw a lot of different answers around. How did we get these solutions? Did anyone plot a diagram? Thanks, I did too. Who, what did we use to get the first one? Point gradient formula. Point gradient formula. <laughs> Distance. <laughs> formula that's better <laughs> like what I'm in my head this is what I'm doing because when we're in an extension two class there are lots of different methods and I'm thinking do I know a method that does that no I don't know a method that does that <laughs> distance formula <laughs> how do we get C okay so hang on I'm gonna plot up what were our original points three one Shh. here's my a point my B point was minus 5i, obviously to scale. My C point was 2, 2. We happy with that? Yeah. B and C. Now, I'm guessing that if you got a different angle, you might have been picking one of the other angles, whereas if you plot it up, Quite clearly, angle BAC is your obtuse angle. Quite clearly. So if you got the acute of that or you got one of these other two, write yourself a note. Don't erase. Don't cross it out. Write yourself a note so you do it better next time because there will be a next time. The reason I chose these points is today we're going to be talking a lot about graphing with the Argand diagram. It's one of my favorite bits. I've told you you all need rulers. Um, we need to know how to put our points on. Our z plus um, omega and our z minus omega, these are things, ones we've used. But I also, sorry, z plus w. w. Same, same. Um, but why I wanted to draw this one and this one in is these two are both advanced skills. Both of these. You got tested on this in the advanced paper. You are not allowed in extension two to leave those skills and go, oh, I can think of something more complicated. <laughs> Don't overcomplicate. Today, and the ones we're going to talk about today, are all able to be done with stage five geometry knowledge. In fact, because they've taken circle geometry out of your course, some of them have to be done with stage five knowledge. And th if that's a bit rusty, if that's a bit rusty, then we need to be able to work through that today.